Gotta get back to our magic. Yeah. Colonized king suit tragic. Matrix breakdown crashing. Sitting back laughing. Spinning this new ju joint class. Hey, I think I like y'all. Try to mute below the scope. Buy your sweet princess Ilka. Didn't happen that they wrote. Everybody here didn't come from a boat. In fact, they couldn't transport cargo till the 1900s. One would hear that and think it's nothing. Why else they change a name from black Negro, mulatto, African American, it's no more government. Oh, us disclosure, they won't give us that. Wait, hold up. Drowning in labels, stuffing by fables, feeding lies from the cradle. We royalty, we don't need a seat at the table. When we own the whole mansion, young Lou out of penitentiary, he did not pay attention. He was set up for the pipeline, class of the prison. Education says don't teach real living. With the taxes we give in, roads still jacked up. Our change going towards no change with election. Our sense paying for no sense retrospection. When we gon' learn our lesson, then we're being bullied by beans with jeans recessive. We got something special. I have another area for you, which I like, which is really good. Another Puccini one, let me see. I just don't hear her when I sing. That was in Quilterina Morbide from Puccini's Manor. Let's go. I am. Um, let's go. Okay, bye. I don't feel good. I feel horrible every time I stop the video. I feel horrible. Horrible. Better to speak. Better to talk. What happened with Rice Smith? Okay, I can tell you this story. As I, as I went to New York to see my vocal teacher, well, Rice Smith said he was living in New York with his wife. No, I had seen them a few times in family gatherings. And in that New Year's, in the very beginning, as I was introduced to the family, uh, she was ma married to a Mexican woman who was like totally irrelevant and boring. But I noticed her haircut that was like styling. New York's haircut style. I called him, I'm in New York, and, and he invited me to, to dinner, so I went with them. 
Yeah, of course, him and his wife, definitely. Look, his wife never talks. And she's insignificant, and I actually forgot her name. How about that? I speak rarely, but I pay attention. No, I just finished vocalizing, remember? I mean, I finished vocalizing that one earlier. I don't know if I'll continue doing that. This is how I speak when the voice is in good place. He or they invited me for dinner. Just proper. Exactly the right thing. How it's done. All the courses, all the aperitif and all the uh, everything. Very nice. And then very bold, I said, I'd like to go dancing now. I am not really that kind of person. But I'm not sure if they ask or not what I what I wanted. So I said I like to go salsa dancing, by the way. And then he began to be nervous because he had to please me. I'm not sure, because I'm blonde, because I'm German, or because maybe I could be a potential client or can bring him a client, or I have a contact, or maybe because I am family. I'm not sure. Or because that's how it's done. So they had to bring me salsa dancing now. So they pulled up some place. I don't know any place in New York. And we drove by some place and stopped. Not sure what he was doing. Maybe money. And then as he was driving to the place, he was completely out of his brain. Because he'd never been to a place he doesn't know without invitation. Like he is used to get to places when he's got like a pass or someone, you know, who brings him in, like a VIP or so. But alone, he'd never done that. That's how I felt at that time. He was driving the square box, the Mercedes box. I was sitting in the back, it was completely square. It, it was looked a little bit like the Honda Element we had, which was a really lame car. Uh, and it was very uncomfortable in the back. I thought he had it because it's cheap. It's more expensive than other Mercedes. Why? <laughs> I don't know. They lived in Greenwich Village, he said very proudly. No, I know about it. Andy Warhol and whatever movement supposed to be boim and intellectual or whatnot. It's ugly and small and their apartment is large and it's full cramp with stuff. And there's one large painting and I wonder, does he really know how to paint? I think I went to the apartment and there I met them and then we went or something. Because I couldn't quite see it. Because in his in New Year's in that house where they did not really live in Cuernavaca, in one room there's a tremendously large painting, like the entire wall. But it's more like, um, yeah, clay, Paul clay, not even. It's more like... No, because clear is more like uh, shaped with symmetrically, symmetrically. It's more like a children's thing. with like splashes of colors in there. It made no sense. So I looked at that large painting and I thought, does he really know how to paint? <laughs> and in his house, I mean, there were a few more like details in that one painting, but it wasn't good. I wondered, okay, so you know, uh, 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 you know, a few things. At least he can pull out a figure or a hand. I'm not sure, but it wasn't good. Yeah, it's chaos, a mess. I had children too, I don't know how many though. That apartment was a mess. And so here we are now in the <laughs> box of Mercedes driving to that salsa plate. And he behind the wheel. No, she right next to him, I was in the back. Oh my God, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Something like that, I don't remember the words though. Last time I said it, I talked about the story, I remembered what he was exactly saying. Right now, I forgot. But that's a little bit like the idea. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Whining. And then we arrived and there was a long line and he was completely out of his brains, but he had to pull that through, he couldn't say no. I have no memory, but we went in. I don't know, I don't know, I have no memory. He had to be in line now. I have no memory of that. We went in and then we danced. No, I found myself, I found myself a dance partner. Not someone who looked decent. No, of course I wouldn't dance with a boy. I don't really think he's supposed to know how to dance. No, I looked into the dance thing and there was one person who looked like decent. He was tall too and he knew how to dance. Decent, you know, because Latins can be often obnoxious. No, he was really decent. No, he was not Mexican. 
And as I looked, he came to me and asked me to dance, so we danced. And that's all. But the situation with the Rai was outrageous. I am the second most important painter of Latin America in New York. He said, how can he be such a sissy? It's beyond my comprehension. Don't come.